Alright, welcome everyone to Horror with Heidi. I'm Heidi and this is Catherine, part two. So we are just about at the end of day one. It's gonna be a brief cutscene of Vincent at home. Oh no, we're still in the bar. Alright, we're gonna finish up this bar scene and then I believe we're jumping straight into another puzzle. I do mind. Get the hell out. <laughs> I'm joking. That is what he should have said, though, and you'll see why. This isn't really my crowd. What, you're better than everybody else here? I don't think so. Oh, sinister music. Nightmare time? Oh, there we go, second day. I really love, I like these loading screens. Oh, here we go. Ah, it's you. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Come on in, everybody. We got some nightmares to have. All right, so that is our map, our stage map. Stage two, Prison of Despair, first floor. Oh, I thought we were doing more Underground Cemetery. I guess that's just the first level. Where am I? Last night's dream, again? What the hell? I was at the bar and this girl came in and then, damn, I can't remember. What's going on? That means she roofied him. Joking. <laughs> You the new guy from last night? That would make him not the new guy, would it not? Boys, you're that guy from yesterday. Listen, watch out for the cracked blocks. They'll break after you step on them. Really? There are several types of blocks, such as cracked blocks and heavy blocks. Whenever you see a new block, proceed with caution. There are several types of cracks, such as rocks and blocks. These are the these are the blocks. <laughs> uh, I should have done that. That's okay though. This will work. There we go. <laughs> uh, no, don't want to do that. All right, let's go up here, drag that back, jump over, do that. We're gonna spider crawl. Hang from blocks, right? It's a really useful technique. If there's nothing to stand on when you pull a block out. You'll hang from the edge. If you try to move to a space without a block, you'll hang as well. Try, try it out. out. I was going to explain this. From there, you can move around. It's a useful way to maneuver. It is pretty useful. It's also one I forget to use at the most crucial of times. Right, there we go. It. Right, I got it. Like in this way, I always forget to use it this way. To like crawl in like three dimensions. And it's so important to you in the later episodes. If you can't see ahead of you, try looking around. Or later stages, I mean. find an easy path up. Use the right stick to look around. If you're stuck, take a look around before moving on. Ah, that doesn't usually help me if I'm stuck. Alright, I got it. Edge. Alright, so I'm going to Yeah. I'm gonna push this aside. I'm gonna pull everything out. Edge. It's ringing! I'm gonna get out it's here. ringing. It's time to go to church. You can also push rows of blocks all at once too. Rows of blocks can be pushed together. There's no limit to how many blocks you can move at one time. Yeah, one block doesn't weigh uh, any more than any other amount of block for some reason. Right, I got it. When you touch a checkpoint, you will start from there if you need to retry. If you come across one, be sure, sure to, tag to tag it. it. Gotcha. Oh, wait. Get that coin. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Everybody else is there 
too. Oh, I love the landings. Who's everyone? <laughs> Where am I? Who are you people? Ooh. Hang on a minute. I got this. Oh, I think I screwed that up. No. 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 What am I doing here? Uh, no, I lost my streak. That's okay. Oh, it didn't matter. I could have just done this in the first place. I made it. So yeah, typically these stages happen in threes or fours, like anywhere, um, like a uh, a level can be anywhere from like one to. Oh, they still gave me a gold. That's awesome. Any at any level, every level can be anywhere from like one to like six stages. Usually, there's at least two. I don't know why I said one. Usually, there's at least two. More often, there's three. Looks like you survived. Who, who are you? A sheep? Do I look like a sheep? You're the sheep. Everybody here's a sheep, but you're a sheep. I'm not a sheep. That voice? Who are you calling who a sheep? Are you? Where the hell is this place? Wish I knew. One thing's for certain, though. If we don't run, we're going to be killed. Killed? If you see this place once, it's all over. You'll keep coming back every night. Every night? You're kidding me. We all have the same fate here. If you don't want to die, you've got to climb. So if I climb, I'll be safe? There's no guarantee. But take a look at that. See that bell? It's like a church or something. A church? If we can reach the top, there may be a way to escape. So there is a way. Like I said, there's no guarantee. But we've got to believe. It keeps us sane. Those who panic die first. Quit with all the dying stuff. I'll do whatever you say. Just, just help me. Look, from here on out, I'm afraid you're on your own. I'm going now. No, 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 wait. You hurry too. Hey! You can't be serious. I love sheep. On the landings, you can save your progress and talk with the other sheep. Go on, talk to them. Go on. It's just a big old petting zoo. I love sheep. I should have my sheep here. I'm gonna go get my sheep. Alright, we're gonna play the game together, aren't we, buddy? That's all I want to know. Can you tell me anything? <laughs> they told me to go up. But what's up there? <laughs> Give me a break. Yeah, so basically the way it works here is everybody sees everyone except themselves as a sheep. So Vincent looks like Vincent with horns because he doesn't see himself as a sheep and he sees all these other people as sheep. And same thing with each person here. They see themselves as assumably just a dude with horns. Whereas they see everybody else around them, including Vincent, as a sheep. If you don't run, you'll die. I gotta keep running. I can't die here. You team up to find a way out of here? I don't know you. I can't trust you. No, I'm not going with anyone. I've had it with people trying to trick me. Oh no. If you don't run, you I gotta keep running. You team up to find a way out. I don't oh, know. he just said that. My bad. Damn it! I'm gonna survive, even if it means kicking off others. If you get in my way, I'll kick you off too. Jesus. Uh, uh, I don't want to die. Uh, calm down or shut up. Tell him to calm down. Just calm there we down. go. Are you saying that to try to bring my guard down? I'm not falling for that. Everyone's just out to save themselves. Some asshole pushed me too. Next time, I'm gonna start shoving or I'll die. All right. I'm gonna talk I'll to these to guys. We're discussing techniques. They're the key to survival. Oh yeah, so these two, they discuss strategy. So you can actually come Maybe over there and exchange useful. tips with them. You want me to teach you the technique I found? Yes, I do. Yeah, let's do it. All right, remember. This is my technique. This is my technique. I'm to explain the pyramid. 
pull out the same number of blocks as the number of steps you mean to climb up. You'll have the support you need to reach higher and higher, like a pyramid. Remember this basic technique. Yeah, so basically the only difference between this and the stairs is that this one is more uh, has more structural integrity to it, so you're gonna lose a lot less of all the available blocks if you do it this What's way. Nice. Uh, mm, I think that might be tough by itself. Consider using this one too. Allow me to explain the slider. Yeah, that's the one I use most of the time. Pull out two blocks vertically, then slide the bottom one over. Remember this basic action, which utilizes the properties of edges. Since edges connect, you can make a stairway even in tight spots. Yeah, I like this one because it's easier to move around and actually move yourself around. Oh, you're a genius. How was that? Bet you didn't know. Uh, it would be nice to say I didn't know. Um, well. Anyway, what I want to say is this. If you're relying on luck to keep you alive, it's all over. I know. My reporter's instincts are telling me this dangerous form of free climbing has some techniques hidden within it. Well, My reporter's senses are tingling. The key is to find as many as we can. All right. If you find anything, you tell me, okay? That's an order. <laughs> I'll have to use that next time. Oh, this poor guy. He's exhausted. Everyone dies eventually. Dying sooner, at least, saves you some pain, right? There's a man who was given up. What is this place? Why was I taken here? Same here. Wish I knew. What are those cages? Why are there sheep in them? I've had it. Get me out of here. Oh, yeah. I don't like the sheep in cages. It makes me sad. Oh, there's a guy over here. Is there someone in there? Let's see through that window. Can't see through the window, it is peeping Tom Proof. Welcome to the confessional. It seems a new lamb has appeared. Who are you? This is the world of nightmares. You are the lambs who have been chosen. You'll all be dead soon. What? Don't be ridiculous. But before I kill you, I want to determine your life's worth. So, I'll have you answer my question. Damn it, what is this? Question one. Is marriage the point where life begins or ends? Pull the rope with the answer that best matches your true feelings. <laughs> so yeah, these questions that you get asked in the confessional here, I mean... <clears throat> Which one? Technically, there's no, like, I don't know, to me there's no right or wrong answer, because it's all opinion-based, but I mean, the game this will give you either a bad point or a good point, depending on which ones you pick, and then actually at the end of it, they'll actually show you it, a know. graph of how many people picked which ones, like, they'll show you a pie chart of how many people voted for which one, which one? and which one was the majority. Uh, I'm gonna say vegans, which they agree is the right choice. So that's your choice. That's surprising. Hey, who are you? Are you doing all this? No. I merely watch over the sheep. Someone else dropped you here. Someone in the real world wanted you to be dropped here and wanted you to die. Oh, snap! You know. <sighs> if you want the truth, you'll have to survive. But since you seek survival, I will take you to the next trial. Damn it, what is going on? Disturbing painting. I don't like it. See our results. Other players answered. Ooh. So, oh god, what percentage is that? So like So like 80 Five percent said it begins. I'm guessing they're not showing a number, but that looks like eighty-five percent to me. All right, so we go up to the second stage. Yeah, stage two of prison of despair, and then the third stage is the last stage of prison of despair. There's still more. Commencing area two. Are you ready? 
Okie doke. All right, this is where they finally like leave you alone and actually, no, I'm wrong. How the fuck am I supposed to get the hang of this? Oh no! Hey, don't run up ahead, help me! Sorry, man, but I'm not going to die helping you. I've got to climb too. Sorry, bro, you're on your own. As you climb, you'll run into strange items. Strange items? I don't know what you're talking about. I'll try to remember it for later. You can pick up items by touching them. Remember, you can only hold one at a time. Press X to use it. You probably can't hold many, but you should hang on to one, just in case. You can absorb items by coming into contact with them. Here we go. Time for speed running. Oh, no, up, thank you. Oh, that's what I want to do. Over this way. Da, 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 da. Come on, man. Yeah, what are these? I don't really know, but the amount you get depends on how fast. If you're looking to collect Oh, that's right. Your score is measured in Enigma coins. Enigma coins. As you climb up each new step, more coins will be added to your score. Use these coins to purchase items on the landings between stages. Oh, that's right. That is what those for. I never buy items, so I never... Your score is also used as a condition for unlocking additional game features. Oh. The faster you climb, the more bonus coins you will earn. If you want more coins... Thank you. You're repeating yourself. Right, I got it. Thank you very much. Edge. Okay, you're getting in my way, dude. Edge. Edge. Hey. Dude. You need to get out of my way, please. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, but I have to push you. You're safe. Just a little more. All right. Up here, up here, up here. One more thing I forgot to mention. If you're crushed by a falling block, you're dead. You're squished. Are you serious? Give me a break. Keyword being crushed. If you are crushed by a block, the game will end. Watch out for wobbling blocks. Watch out for those wobbling blocks. Edge. Mm, actually, yeah, I want that one to fall, not just that one. There we go. Oh no, I lost my streak. Dude, they, no, dude, you need to move. Thank, no. Okay, why are you fucking with me? Thank you, I'm so sorry I have to push you. I've seen others here and there. The fighting's gonna start getting fierce. Oh my god. You mean the other guys climbing with me? They're in my way. They're all trying to climb, like you. This is a dog-eat-dog -dog world. There's no time for courtesy. Stay calm and climb on. Creatures cannot stand on a block Soon as you let me. Time. Sometimes sheep will get in your way as they try and climb to the top, to and then you have to push them. Move up against him. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm getting so engaged with these tutorials now. Like this is the third level. We don't need this anymore. Got it. <laughs> oh my! Where are all my blocks? Oh, I can create one. i to use this. Thank you. Right, I got it. I see you're still alive and kicking. Oh my god. How is this place? How high does this damn thing go? Oh, I just won't play the game. I wish I could. The map on the left side of the screen shows you how far you are from the goal. Stages vary in length, so be mindful of your progress. Thank you. Please just let me play the game and stop interrupting me. There we go. I made it! Yeah! Oh, please give me, please give me a gold. I know I didn't earn it. You yes. Survived. <laughs> Impressive. I didn't. I feel a silver would have been perfectly fair. I don't think I earned a gold there. It's you. Looks like you're still alive. Is that you? You're safe too. Barely. Still. Pause. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Died trying to come here. I don't listen. Here, you see everybody else as sheep, but all these sheep, they're really human. There's got to be some reason why we were all brought here. What reason could there be? Why do we have to suffer like this? Who knows? But they do have an idea. An idea? 
Let's stop the speculation. It's just going to confuse us more. <sighs> you should think of what to do next. I'm hearing rumors of something big coming soon. Be careful now. Something big? Still, you're really getting the hang of things. There's nothing more I can teach you. That can't be true. Come on, you gotta have something you can tell me. If we're lucky, we'll meet again. <sighs> hey, wait! You can learn techniques to help you climb higher. Crawling around blindly won't help you escape. I mean, it might. That's honestly, for puzzles I don't know how to solve, that's honestly just my fallback. There is valuable information to be found, and you can only find it here. It's how they make antisocial people socialize. Oh, you're new here, am I right? Let me ask, do you have any coins? You may have seen them lying around while you're climbing. I'll trade you useful items for them. Would you rather have coins than an item? I'm a numismatist. I love money. There's nothing in life money can't buy. Numismatist, I've, I've never heard of that. Comics. No matter what world you're in, as long as you've got money, you can do anything. These gold coins are symbols, symbolizing money. And if that's the case, then I can save myself if I have enough of it. That's my theory. Oh, so you don't know... If you are still having trouble getting through a stage, you can buy items with coins. If you are already carrying an item, it will be replaced if you buy a new one. Be careful. However, buying items makes it more difficult to earn the gold prize. Oh! If you want an item, pony up some coins. Tonight's product is... The white cube creates a block in front of you. Oh, thank you. Huh? You think you're window shopping or something, fro man? Uh, uh... Excuse me. Please come again. Uh, he has jerry curls, not a fro. Lady at the beginning had a fro. Fuzzy and fluffy at the same time, and it's coming right at me! <laughs> Snap out of it. There's nothing like that anywhere near here. The monster talks. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Huh? Oh, God. People are already losing their minds. Just a few minutes ago. I did, I had to, I'm sorry. It's just some sheep. I'll show you next time. I heard that all the sheep here are actually people. New flash. Fuck you. I need to make sure I survive. Who says that? New flash. Fuck you. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. Oh wait. I don't know what just happened. Anyone else, I'm gonna live. Hey, are you the same as me? Were you put down here by some trick? Why were we chosen? Do you know anything? Come on. How can I survive? I can't keep climbing. I don't know anything either. Listen, if you want to live and climb, that's all you can do. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You gotta stay calm. <sighs> calm. I found this out just now. Yo, have we met before? You survived because of the techniques I found, huh? Oh, is that how? Tell me something. Let me show you another great technique, then. Allow me to explain suspending. Yeah, that one's pretty useful. This technique gives you more room to maneuver. Push a block off a ledge with nothing below. As long as the edges connect, the block will remain in place. How's that? I'm a regular blockologist, huh? Hmm, that's a good start. Try to remember this one, too. Allow me to explain pullback. If you climb up and find yourself stuck, try pulling a block and backing down. It's another form of doing the stairway. By a stairway as you go down, you will be able to go higher than you could before. Hi, girl. You knew that? Yeah. yeah, I knew. Anyway, what I'm getting at is, this kind of stuff has to become second nature to you. I know. I can't just rely on my natural reporter's instinct. <laughs> There's that reporter's true. instinct it's again. Techniques, huh? I guess the trick is to learn as many of them as possible. Okay, if you find any new moves, you come straight to me. This is coming from the executive manager. I saw 
little sheep fall past me on my way. I, I can't get that scream out of my head. It won't go away. All you'll hear is your own death scream. You can stay here. But even this place will fall eventually. What's with all the cubes? I don't understand any of this. What should I do? Please help me. Just gotta climb. Learn some techniques to get higher. Techniques? Like what? Oh, come on, teach me. Anything. Maybe this will help. Allow me to oh, nice guy. The tornado. Tornado. The blocks are stacked all over the place. Calm down and pull them out huh. one by one. The blocks are stacked all over the place. First, just calm the fuck down. Move them aside and bring them down like a tornado. Then, make a staircase and climb. Oh, is that how you climb? Yeah, it's good for towers of like three oh, horizontal blocks going all the way up. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to call it here for now. Next time we will get into the confession booth and then we will fight the final boss. Um, if you'd like to play Catherine yourself, I'll leave links to different download sources in the description. Thank you for watching. Thanks for being my player too. Until next time, don't get scared without me.